Good afternoon, Red Jim. It's Greg here again with a, another kit review. Uh, I got this um, with some of my money from the uh, my YouTube, which I was quite surprised. I didn't forget all about it until uh, I went and checked. So I purchased this all the way from China. It took less than a, just well no, it took nine days to get here. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. As you can see, it's the new amusing hobbies, Ferdinand one five one zero one hundred. Final production vehicle from, I can't even pronounce that now, wouldn't even Fagestetel, you know, wouldn't have a clue. Obviously somewhere in Germany, excuse my, my German friends for the uh, butchering of the name. As you can see it's a lovely box art, I like that box art, I like this colour. Uh, I hope the decals are in because I would love to try and do this as it is, just as it is on the box cover. Okay, it's an amusing hobby, obviously. It's a new kit, and the kit number is there is 35A. Oh, yeah, 35A044, and it's obviously 135 scale. It's a lovely box art, like I've said. It's by Jason, he seems to get everywhere. This Jason guy uh, on the side, we just have the same view again, just the you know, the box art, and again, until the sides are the same. On this side, we have a CAD drawing of the uh, the built vehicle. And a bit of it tells you it's got workable suspension and it's quality molded plastic, suspension designed to fit dioramas. Um, and it says paint and glue are not included, but it says pan it. And you can see that's so why it says pan it and glue. I've got the right bit pan it and glue. So I don't know what pan it and glue is, but uh, there we go. And on the other side, we have some um, by the looks of it, these are actually pictures, real pictures of the real vehicle. Which is a nice touch as well. So I haven't opened it. This is literally just come through the door. So I haven't opened it yet. So I don't know even what's in there. So it's the first time for me and the first time for you lot. So let's uh, let's dig in and see what's in the box. As you can see, it's uh, certainly ram full of plastic. It's a very deep box as well, so it's uh, there's a few parts as they say. So what we'll do is normal, we'll just go through each sprue. We'll go away through each sprue. Um, right, we shall start with number one. Is a sealable bag? No, they're not resealable, so we'll have to put the ends off. I'll say I'll put back in the box, it looks like fuel can, uh, fuel, not too sure, and fuel drums, I think. That's just one that's come off anyhow, so we'll pop that back in that box over there. And we'll see what we've got on this sprue, everything looks, looks really nice again, nice the details, nice checkerboard pattern on the foot, on the foot plate. Injection marks on the other side where they shouldn't, where they should be, I should say. A few predominant ones, but there again, we'll just pull them off with your fingers as well. So let's have a look at the first sprue. So as we can see, we've got that nice checkerboard effect on the uh, off each foot plate inside the vehicle, not too sure, or on the outside, and all the detailed parts are nicely done. Even the small parts here are nicely, nicely produced. Nice bolt head details as well on the uh, whatever it is on there. So yeah. Can't argue with that. So that's a nice first uh, first sprue. Next sprue looks like ammunition and a sprocket and some very tiny play, uh, tiny um, tiny parts. We've got two sprues, identical sprues, so. Obviously, we're only going to show the one. Here we've got, uh, here we've got the uh, arm, the uh, missile, missiles, the uh, shell casings and shells, um, varying in different ones, which is nice. Slight variation in each one. A bit of a Part of the cotton must be a machine gun of some description. It's got a. Have to be very careful when we take that off. And again, 
So now it's got the um, attachment point on the sprocket actually on the two feet side, so it's a lot easier to clean off. We've got the shackles there. And again, nicely detailed part again from this company. I do like him using obvious stuff. We do some uh, lovely vehicles. And a quite a reasonable price as well, and say I've got the shells there as well. So it's really nice. Nicely done. Oh, pop that one down there. Uh, I think we've got tracks. Let's have a look at the tracks. Let's have a look at these tracks. Kind of workable, so one presumes they either click together or we've got some other things. So we've got one, two, three sprues in there. Which we're not going to use. Just go through all three. Uh, looks like we have to fit them across, which is nice. There's no injection marks. So you have to guide arms to put in by the looks of things. We must be in a separate sprue. We're hundred percent sure. We'll soon see when we do them. But yeah, nice detail. No injection marks. All as they should be. Yep, yeah, as you can see. We've got no injection marks there at all. And on the reverse again, there's no injection marks again on the reverse, which is nice. And you've got these little parts go over the top, presumably these there to help it be workable, I presume. So, yeah, nice, nicely done, nicely rendered, as they say. And again, another sprue, which looks like it's got a bit of the uh, armament, the, uh, yeah, the armour, and other bits and bobs. Nice, you got that nice, we've got that nice cast texture on there as well, or rolled steel, I think it's rolled steel I mean, I think. Well, it won't be cast texture, I don't know, too sure. But it's nice, whatever it is, I think it's rolled steel. So, again, on the, it's rolled steel because you've got the, um, the um, on the plates on the outside. Nice uh, box, the markings don't go right round to the bottom, but that's no problem, you can just Finish them off with a knife. You know, you know, say nice, nice texture on the and a nice text texture on all the parts, and no flash, no unsightly sinkholes apart from what's on the reverse. So let's uh, very gander at these. Then. So we've got these, and we we'll just turn these lights. So we've got all the. Uh, that's quite nice. That's nicely done. And again, you can see that, uh, that texture on the. Uh, Rolled steel texture on the arm, on the armor plates there. All little small parts, which are uh, nicely done as well. All nice. We've got some of the pea pioneer tools there, spade and wire cutters. A bit of flash on that wire cutter. And it's more of a seam line than a flash, I would think. Yeah, it's more seam line than a flash, but they all. We'll see them get them, take a little rid of them. Yeah, axe, hammer, bolt cutters, spade, tanker bars, as we call them, and jacks and things on there. All nicely done. Some of the uh, engine, engine covers, and looks like the roof as well. done. Yeah, with the roof there. It's a bit shiny, but we can add texture to that if it is texture, which I don't think there would be. You've got a nice wire, you've got a nice conduit of wire as well on the top of the uh, top of the turret, sorry the casement or casemate. So that's quite nice. A bit plain on the top, but I'll see. If, I'll have a look at pictures to see what uh, texture is. I presume it's rolled steel as well. Um, rear engine deck. And little bits and pieces. Again, all nicely done. No flash. And what flash? That what seems? Oh, sorry, what the um, thing calls they are is uh, on the rear. Periscopes are not clear parts, which is a shame. But I think I've probably got spare ones to add. 
it might be with the box, I don't know, just doing what's on that sprue there. Right, and then we have on here, we have the side sponsons and more armament. Or armour, I should say, and the actual barrel, and this one is one piece barrel. It's a slide moulded, but uh, it's only got four contact points in a seam line, no problems. Nice texture, on it. lovely texture, that's really nicely done. And again on that piece there, the checkerboard effect on the mud, on the mud guards. Got a slide moulded muzzle brake, which is good. Nice, all nicely done, nicely, you can see the texture on the, um, on those, they're really nice, really, really nice, I'm just sort of, and the checkerboard effect on the uh, foot plates as well, so the um, wood guards towards the end, really nice. And we've got that texture on there as well. And the texture on the mantlet as well for the gun. As well, so that's uh, nice. All nice, you say, it's just one piece barrel, so it'll clean up quite easy. But I think I may have a metal one, I'm not 100% sure, but I may well have one. I'll have to have a look at my stash. But I'll see how I build this one up. I always build the gun up first. If it, if if um, even if it's two pieces, I always build it up first and clean it up and see if it's usable. And if it is, then uh, I use it. So but nice again, nicely done, nicely rendered. And another case, another one here with the looks like a bit of the breech and part of the case mate again. Looks like the yeah the breech is in here. The attachment to, to go into a lower hull. Okay, all nicely done. That looks at this. More ammunition. Again, all nicely done. No flash. There's little bits and pieces to clean up, but a uh, little touch of flash on some parts, but it doesn't say what spruce is here, it doesn't give me a date of when it was produced this one. This could be an old part, I'm 100% sure, don't quote me on that, but the detail is lovely. Just a little bit of flash on on the small part really, that I can see just on, where do I see that? Yeah, just on the end of there where my finger is now. Just on the end of there there's a little bit of flash, but clean them up, no problem. I've got nice detail again on the back of that. And the gun breech looks quite nicely detailed. And there we have the um I'll fasten it down to a lower hole. All nicely done. Yeah, it should be a lovely, lovely internal. I know it's not internal kit, but there is a, the is it the elephant now, or is it the third number from this company? It's got the full interior. I can't remember. I'm going to have some more track here as well, so no point not in the nose. Then it's the same again. We've got a track jig. What that is. There's a track jig among this ones here, so. Which is nice. Obviously, but, uh, the track was one, two. There's quite a few track jigs actually. There's about four in there. We'll probably the ones we'll check out. Later on. So we've got plenty of jack blah, blah, blah. jigs to uh, make up the um, tracks up with. And we have one piece um, cast casemate, which is really nice. And that is really, really nice. Mark on there, but no problem. The world seems beautifully done. Cannot argue with that at all. Look at that. That is. Probably the nicest part of the kit. Superbly done. Look at that. Well seems. And the actual cast steel effect on there, rolled steel. Sorry, rolled steel, not cast. Absolutely stunning. Really stunning piece of work that really is. That's lovely. It really is. Right, and there's a lower hull. She's got a bit of interior because obviously you've got the other interior kit from uh, Amusing Hobbies as well, so this is obviously part of it. Pretty bland on the sides, but you have to build that up. And we've got a few hatches, hatches and that on the bottom, which is uh, not too bad. Again, fairly plain, but when it's all built up, it won't be. So we'll pop that out there. That's another part of the loose on the screw. I'll put that back in the bag when I go around to it. And on here we have big sprue, we have wheels 
and suspension part on here. So obviously we've got the uh, Porsche suspension on these things. These are two screws are exactly the same. We're going to get the one out. Again, looking from this side, it's quite a large sprue. We have another jack box. And then again, I'd have to do the um, wood texture on the sides. We have a slide molded um, machine gun barrel as well. And the path looks like a vent of some description. A few more pioneer tools, a few hatches, the wheels. It was a nicely done, the plane, but they were plain anyhow, but they're nicely rendered and done, nice detail on them and on the moss brockets as well. So, got the wheels, get nicely done again, see those, sprockets, all nicely done. Here are the wheels, parts in there, the bits, so the suspension, you have all those, plates. Little bits and pieces, all nicely done. The slide molded um, tow hooks as well, so that's nice, that's a nice detail as well. We got that. And where's I see my little machine gun? So oh, it's on the other side. I don't know if we can make out the. Uh, yeah. It's got a hollow end, so which is nice. Some little grab handles, little bits and pieces on there, so. That's the end of the plastic, there's quite a lot, uh, nicely detailed though, and we have here, we have our suspension work, so I won't get this out, we have copper wire and little suspension springs to make the suspension work, can we see that in that bag? Well on there, I'm putting them outside, can we see those little uh, springs? That's a nice touch, they have to be del little delicate, so we'll have to be careful with those when we build them. That's a nice touch. We'll do the instructions last, and we've got all the decals here, which I was looking for. So we've got all the slogans. This is in a resealable bag, so we'll have a look at the decals. We'll have a look at the decals. I'll just take the paper off, if I can. Nice, not much carrier film around them at all. They remain their own, their own decals, plenty of them. Don't ask me what they say, but uh, like Porsche and Siemens, I can understand that bit, and Ferdinand, I can understand that bit. But nothing else. So the decals are quite really nice. Nothing wrong with those, nothing wrong with those at all. Great to see all them on the uh, on it when it's done. And you see, so I'm going to do it in that version. It's on the box. That's what drew me to it. I've never done a vehicle in the primer red, so primer oxide, I should say. So it might be my first one. And then I get round to it. I'll pop them back in that box there and right. I'll move this out the way for now and then we're going to look at these instructions. Nice work again, it's got the box art on the front and you know, a bit of gumph, warnings, the uh, icons, tell you what not to do and what to do, the usual sort of fare. Thank you for choosing, thank you for purchasing an amusing hobby kit. Attention, yep, on the back, we've got all these first, we've got the back view, we've got that's the one I want to do. Um, which is nicely done. I've got tells you obviously where all the decals go. So this will be, uh, if you don't like decals, I wouldn't advise the kit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've even got decals to go inside hatches by the looks of it. If you look on there, on the white bits there. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. In probably usual, usual fare. We have sprue map, which is nice, always helpful. 
Starting off on the lower hull, the suspension is normal. The suspension doesn't look too difficult actually. That's just a matter of sandwiching the spring between the two parts. Yeah, that didn't look too bad at all. You can see that. Let's just. You can see them. Looks fairly straightforward. Very straightforward. We'll just flick through it. It's not. You see, it's nothing. If I come across anything, I'll show you. But I think it's just the usual fare. We've got suspension in the wheels to be added as well. So yeah, suspension and then, which I probably make up, but won't put on at that point because I like to spray with vehicles and then add the um, the suspension. Uh, putting the wheels in again. Um, I won't be doing it at that point. And then we got to the tracks. And we never noticed. Let me just check those tracks, the second lot of tracks, because I never noticed any guide horns. Unless the guide horns are only on like a bit like a Russian tank. Yeah, they've got guide horns on these ones. Ah, so that's what's different. So it must be like a like you know like a T34 with one one part of the track with uh, guide on and one not. Not 100% sure, but that's the way it looks. Let's have a look on the instructions. What does it say? Yeah, yeah, one of each. And then the uh, thing to fasten it down so you've got a, a decent connection. Yeah, I didn't know that. No, that's something I didn't know about the tracks on a, on a Porsche Tiger or um, on the Ferdinand or Elephant. I didn't really know anything about the tracks like that. Huh? Something new every day. And so we're starting to build up the uh, lower hull with the uh, muck guards and underneath put together and the parts are over here. All these are subsections first and then you put them on there. So nice, nicely done. Learned some of today about the Ferdinand tracks. And again, carrying on with the upper hull, which is nicely done again. All just fairly nice break up, they're not too busy, you're just about right. Um, then we've got the engine grill at the back, hatch covers, options of open or closed. And then we're starting on the, the breech for the gun, which is then fattened onto the lower casemate on there, lower of the interior, sorry, engine hatch, engine cover goes on the front. And then we start a bit of exterior detail as in periscopes, this, that and the other on the top of the uh, roof. And again, now we're starting with the actual casemate itself. We've got uh, sort of maybe scale thickness or something on the top and a plate onto there. And again, we're adding bits and pieces to the outside. And then we're attaching this to the lower. I won't attach it or put it on, but I won't glue it, obviously, because obviously the detail inside. We'll make it as much as we can. And then we start again on putting the um, roof on. And the slide thing for the uh, scissors. Is it the scissors? Scissor um, goggles. Is that what they use them for? I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that one. Obviously, we're adding little bits and pieces of mantle for the gun. A storage box. Storage box can be open or is it open or closed or is it? I'm going to leave it open. I think if I can because there's no point in putting these inside the box and closing the box up. I'll have a look into that when we get to the build. So yeah, it seems a bit strange, but we'll have a look at that. Actually, the box actually goes to there, so you can't really have it. Well, you can't even have it drop down, I suppose, because it's going to be in the factory. So. I may do that. I may do that. I may do that. Gives you the options of different ones. So fairly straightforward build, and then we're adding this little fine part: lifting hooks, uh, aerial mounts, uh, lights, visor for the driver. Which is uh, no, because there's no clear parts, but I may have probably something to fit in there. And again, add in the barrel and the uh, travelling lock. What we got here? Gun travel lock can be open or closed. It's going to be open. It's going to be open, I think, with this one. 
I've seen the factory and I think that's it once the barrel's on I think that's it yep and then back to the front to the uh, engine the colour for the uh, Ferdinand at the end so I like that it's a very straightforward kit nothing looks difficult I think I've learned something about the tracks today which I never knew the colours are MIG but you know if you don't have to use MIG I'm all, I've got plenty of other options I think I've got a uh, life colour um, red oxide set which would be perfect for this I think I have, I'll have to have a look yeah. there's some writing on the barrel as well isn't it does it give you the writing for the barrel, yes it does which is there again on the uh, instructions the writing on the barrel, whatever it says I'll have to uh, ask some of these German friends of mine if they uh, can give me a translation on uh, what they all mean so basically we have red primer Dark tracks and gun metal. So we only have three colours, but you need white as well, or off, off white, creme white for the uh, hatch covers, and for the driver's hatch. But yeah, nicely done. So obviously, I'm going to try and build it as closely to resemble the um, the box art, I think. So yeah, quite impressed. Not millions of parts, but I think it's, a, it's certainly a nice build. It'll be a nice. Uh, Nice build to look forward to, definitely. Um, and it wasn't too bad. See, I got it within nine days from China, so I can't argue with that. I cannot argue with that. So, say so thank you very much to my subscribers, new and old. Um, I'm cracking on with the um, the jumbo. See, I've got the coat, the primer coat down, so I'm going to do a bit of work, more work on that today. I'm going to put the, sh the shadow coat on. And then we'll be ready for paint then. So that's when I start coming back with uh, how I'm going to do the paint work. So I think it's time for taking the time out here to view this. And we shall see you very, very soon with an update on the uh, Meng Sherman Jumbo. So this is Greg signing off. And we'll see you very soon.